IBM Quantum Summit 2023 Six Highlights, Three Takeaways Welcome to Quantum Analyst, your go-to channel for quantum technology insights backed by fact-based research. On December 4, 2023, IBM hosted its annual Quantum Summit in New York. This event was packed with significant announcements, featuring the reveal of the IBM Quantum System 2, their latest and most powerful quantum processing units, QPUs, the quantum software Qiskit 1.0, an updated 10-year roadmap, and much more. In this video, I'll present the six highlights of the summit, along with my three takeaways. Let's dive in. Highlight number one, the theme of the summit, the era of utility. IBM announced a groundbreaking shift at the summit. We have now entered the era of utility in quantum computing. What exactly is the era of utility? IBM defines it as a phase where quantum computing evolves its experimental roots to become practical, scalable, and widely accessible. This signifies a move from theoretical exploration to providing genuine, practical utility. In this era, users engage with quantum computers not just for experimental projects, but for real-world quantum computing applications. This bold declaration set the stage for the entire summit, underscoring the significant progress and future potential of quantum computing. Highlight number two, GPU with 1000 plus qubits, Condor. At last year's Quantum Summit, IBM announced plans to launch two new quantum processing units, QPUs, in 2023, Condor and Heron, both named after birds as per IBM's naming convention for QPUs. The IBM Condor is a pioneering quantum processor with 1,121 superconducting qubits. It's a standout for its impressive scale and efficiency, marking a 50% increase in qubit density over previous models, thanks to IBM's advanced cross-resonance gate technology. However, it's important to clarify that, as per IBM's website, Condor is currently considered a concept processor. There has been no official confirmation yet on its integration into IBM's Quantum System 1 or System 2 machines. Highlight number 3, the highest performing GPU, Heron. IBM presents the Heron chip as its flagship chip, which is engineered for the purpose of running as many gates as possible within the coherence times of a qubit. One of the key innovations in Heron is IBM's tunable couplers technology, crucial for eliminating crosstalk errors that occur when neighboring qubits interact. This advancement enables Heron to run up to 1,800 gates within the coherence times of its qubits, nearly quadrupling the capacity of the previous 127 qubit Eagle processor. Consequently, Heron emerges as IBM's most efficient and high performing processor to date. Highlight number four, IBM Quantum System 2. IBM also unveiled IBM Quantum System 2, the company's first modular quantum computer and cornerstone of IBM's quantum-centric supercomputing architecture. The first IBM Quantum System 2, located in Yorktown Heights, New York, has begun operations with three IBM Heron processors and supporting control electronics. It spans 22 feet 6.7 meters wide and 12 feet 3.7 meters high. It combines cryogenic infrastructure with third-generation control electronics and classical runtime servers. For context, the previous generation product, IBM Quantum System 1, was launched in January 2019, nearly five years ago. There are substantial differences between the System 1 and System 2, highlighting significant technological advancements and design upgrades. Highlight number 5 Software Qiskit 1.0 on the software front, IBM has announced the release of Qiskit 1.0, scheduled for February 2024. Qiskit as an open-source software development kit, SDK, for quantum computing, first released by IBM in 2017. It has since evolved to become the universal language in the quantum computing community. Qiskit 1.0 represents a significant upgrade. IBM describes it as a major milestone, the culmination of six years of open source efforts, made possible by the enthusiastic participation of thousands of users and the dedicated contributions of hundreds of developers. Ahead of its full release in February 2024, IBM will offer an early pre-release version of Qiskit 1.0 on December 4, 2023. Highlight 6, IBM Quantum Roadmap, Updated and Expanded. 
IBM has released a new version of its Quantum Roadmap, showcasing several key changes compared to last year's edition. First, the roadmap has been extended from 2026 to 2033, demonstrating a longer-term vision. It includes the addition of two new QPUs, Starling and BlueJay, along with their ambitious targets. By 2029, the roadmap envisions the Starling processor executing 100 million gates over 200 qubits. This will be followed by the BlueJ processor, capable of executing 1 billion gates across 2,000 qubits by 2033, marking a substantial increase from current capabilities. Secondly, the updated roadmap introduces specific targets for gate operations. For instance, it sets a target for the Heron chip to reach 5,000 gates in 2024. Thirdly, a new dimension has been added, the innovation roadmap. This outlines key advancements required to achieve error-corrected quantum computing on a large scale. Overall, these updates represent IBM's comprehensive effort to advance the frontiers of quantum computing, transforming it into a more potent and practical tool for addressing complex scientific and computational challenges. Here are my three takeaways. Number one, IBM's roadmap execution, excelling. IBM is making remarkable strides in quantum development, firmly establishing itself as a leader in the field. Their updated and expanded roadmap deserves a thumbs up for setting the pace in quantum innovation. Number two, era of utility, approaching with caution. The proclamation of the era of utility is bold and commendable, deserving applause. However, it's more accurate to say that IBM is approaching, rather than fully entering, this era. While we're close to this transformative phase, the journey towards fully realizing and proving its practicality is still ongoing. Number three, commercialization, the bottom line. Ultimately, the success of quantum computing hinges on its commercial viability. I'm looking forward to when IBM's discussions about quantum computing will expand beyond technology to include financial metrics like revenue, profit margins, and free cash flow. It's crucial for IBM to transform quantum computing into a profitable venture, validating the extensive efforts and investments in this field. That concludes today's video. Please leave any comments or feedback below. If you feel you've learned something new, please like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated and will help me continue creating content. Thank you.